So CAT is the combination of compliant asset tokenization. Um, and uh, what is very important, I think, is the compliance combined with the asset tokenization, right? So if you think about uh, asset tokenization, you can already do that with Web3 technology, right? You just take uh, a real world asset, for example, and then you tokenize it, which means you create a token that sits on a blockchain that would be operated by your distributed environment. The problem with that is this Web3 platform has been um, operated by traditional blockchains that are quite um, that are not fit for purpose anymore uh, in the sense that they do not offer this identity layer that is needed by regulation. So CAT is really this idea of bridging the gap between uh, the Web3, the centralized finance uh, operated by traditional blockchain technologies um, and uh, traditional finance that need some kind of um, regulatory control. The radical difference that you have with Redbody Network is bridging the gap between this blockchain, Web3, decentralized finance, and this traditional finance, right? And the only way you can do that is by making sure that you comply with the regulations, right? So Redbody Network brings this novelty of identifying all the users before they can use this Web3 technology, which is the enabler of asset tokenization, right? So it's really this, comp this combination of asset tokenization with uh, compliance with the regulation that makes Redbelly Network unique.